Hi all, it's Rach from the Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. Now this will be for the first half of May 2023. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. And if you haven't, welcome to my channel. Just remember, it's a general reading. It's not going to suit everyone. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa. Okay, Aquarius. Willpower. So it looks like you may be getting some help in your dreams. Maybe you're having intuitive type dreams. And the one that fell out is willpower. So let's find out what's going on with you. Okay, Aquarius. So you have a family kids possibly three for some people doesn't mean you can't have more or less there's something to do with a past life or maybe you've been having a lot of deja vu um, which can also mean that you're on the right path also it's about trusting your intuition some sort of knowing um, I don't feel like Whoever this reading's for, I don't feel like you're a teenager. Like, I feel like you're a bit older than that. Possibly brunette or darker features, maybe darker hair. Um, somebody who people see as quite intense. You're needing to stop trying to control something or someone. There's something that is destiny here, or meant to be. We all have lessons too, don't forget. So, you know, for example, you could have got married when you were in high school, just after high school. You know, you haven't had much life experience when it comes to things. And um, maybe you've had a family and, you know, you don't know what it's like to experience things and even if you've had hard times it doesn't mean that you're not meant to be I forgot where I was going with that for a second okay tell me more the snake is in reverse hammer is in reverse Death is in reverse. Like, this is weird, right? Look, it's not all these cards are in reverse. So it's weird that the three that have come out are in reverse. You've got backstabbed, love, and addiction. And also healthier choices is in reverse. Seduction is in reverse. Like, re mm, the butterfly is in reverse. Okay, so... To me, this is saying this is about a relationship. Could be family, but more so it looks like it's actually love. Um, this person did something to hurt you. Um, you're kind of at that point where you do it one more time, we're done. Um, but at the moment, you're not letting this go. The relationship isn't over. You've given them, you know, who, who knows how many choices, uh, chances, sorry. Um, you could have given them 20 chances or you may have given them two and then that's it. It's whatever you're, you're tolerating, I guess. But it's like one more time and we're done. You, this, this, whatever this person did, they broke your heart. This is like there was lies, there was deception, there was pain. But you love this person, but also you need to work on your own self-love because why are you tolerating this 20 or 30 or 1 or 2 or 5 times? Who cares how many times is my point. Like why are you doing that? Like it made you 
you went through this emotional pain you went through grief like you'd lost a situation you'd lost a relationship you'd lost a person yep this person has an addiction or you have an addiction and it could be that you're codependent um, somebody needs to make healthier choices but also that comes back to your self-love and your self-care because as I said you're tolerating stuff that maybe you shouldn't um, as much as I feel like they hurt you I don't feel like they were like hooking up and dating other people or there wasn't a third party. So I don't know what this person's done, but something where they've hurt you. Um, do you need to release the past? And I feel like you haven't. You don't want this relationship to be over, but at the same time, you're not letting it go. You haven't healed from it. Okay, so tell me more. I guess you're going to have to have willpower that if this happens again, that it's like you keep to your, this is it, I'm done. Yeah, don't settle. Don't Stop settling for this shitty addiction of theirs. Or because you have the addiction and you're codependent, it's like stop settling. You deserve better than this. Somebody needs to do the work on themselves. Um, it's like you're at a crossroad but you don't know what choice to make maybe you're in denial maybe you don't know everything something has made you indecisive It's interesting, winter keeps coming out for a few different signs, this read. It's different. Anyway, um, something could have happened in winter or will happen in winter, whenever winter is for you. Um, but this is definitely about some sort of union. It's like someone was watching. <laughs> There's an observer. What was... Were you like going to, you know, hook up parties and watching people get it on or watching porn or observing something? What were you observing? Or what was your person observing more to the point? So maybe that's why you they didn't physically hook up and date it wasn't physically a third party but there's and you're not the other woman it's not really like there's competition but whatever they did hurt you and they have an addiction Tribe. Commitment. In reverse. Tribes in reverse. Everything's coming out in reverse today. Divine timing was in reverse and contemplation was in reverse. And grief is on the bottom. And compromise is in reverse, but you don't want a fresh start. There's fear. Someone needs to do some shadow work, do some healing, dark night of the soul. Stop playing the victim to someone else. It's like...
I just, I feel like somebody just needs to do some work on themselves. And I feel like it's both of you because they need to work on whatever this is that they have going on. And if they need to, reach out and get help on this. If it's, say, you, whatever, you know, is going on here and you'll end up hurt, maybe you need to go and see someone and talk about letting it go. Um, your self-love. Stop settling. Maybe you need to work on codependency or control something. I don't know. There's something. You both kind of need to do work on yourselves. I remember this was a confusing read last time too. So you went from being in this place of having a firm foundation, it felt like, to all of a sudden having like the floor swept out from under you. Is that the expression? So... You don't want to have an ending. We've established even that up there. Like you don't want to have an ending, but, and it says it again there, you don't want a new beginning. But at the same time, you went from a place of feeling like you had a firm foundation to all of a sudden having your heart broken. You feel like, well, I should have known. Why didn't I know? Um, why wasn't my intuition telling me or I didn't trust my intuition um, feel like yeah the firm foundation went like now I'm like it's I don't know you went from yeah feeling like you got a firm foundation to feeling like you don't now you can't trust this person it's like made you feel anxious depressed all those things it wouldn't surprise me actually if the nine of swords comes out because that is what I'm getting. I just feel like I'm feel like I want to puke in my gut. But you don't want a new beginning. It's telling you to put out to the universe what it is you want. Manifest what you want. Have hope in this and faith, you know. Um, do some healing. Manifest. And the Six of Pentacles, as I said, it's like, look after you. I feel like you're not reaching out and asking for help if you need it. And I feel like you should. Now I feel drained. Okay. So I don't know. This is an exhausting. Like I feel for you. All right. Tell me about the Three of Swords. You had the hangman and the queen of swords. Like, the queen of swords talks about somebody who's very self-sufficient, independent, has clear boundaries, very direct with their communication. Um, sometimes they can be a bit uh, short with the way they talk. Um... But with the hangman, you know, this talks about having a new perspective. Maybe seeing something from someone else's point of view. Hmm. Tell me about the high priestess. Font in reverse and the Ace of Wands. So so you didn't trust your intuition but there's something to do with a new opportunity or a spark, passion, desire, something like that. So this could be, as I said to you before, something sex related being porn going to a sex party and watching something like that 
not actually doing the cheating, but still this is hurt them. Um, with the Hierophon in reverse as well, it's kind of challenged that you thought everything was okay. It's like, do we have the same values? Do we? Yeah, because I feel like you have kids and you have a family together. Tell me about the four of pentacles. Firm foundation, yeah. So it felt like, as I said, your firm foundation went from under you. Um, gave you a lack of confidence. You could have felt neglected. There was like, is this going to work? I don't know if we can get through this. Um, Yeah, this just wasn't like a ha happy family life with stability and all these, all these nice things because it went from that to this and now it's in reverse. So I was like, I don't know if we can get past this. And then you've got the chariot. Strength. Four of Swords, yeah. What did I say about feeling exhausted? Yep. And I mean, somebody may want to come back, but it's up to you whether you choose to walk away. Um, yeah, Seven of Wands in reverse, exhausted. You just want to give up. You're overwhelmed, you're indecisive. But it's like karma, first of all, with the justice, but also getting some sort of truth. Um, for some of you, you may go through a lawsuit, but for others, it's about taking action, making a change, um, because you've got the chariot. So it's like this can be successful, but somebody will have to make some changes. And be determined and you know show them in actions not just words that this can this can um yeah change but it's going to take strength as to whether you want to stay there for this um you feel very isolated and alone you feel like that victim you know, like you were left in the cold, you, you know, rejected, whatever, all that kind of thing. Um, you're in this place, though, of waiting. It's like you're waiting for them to stuff up again. I don't know. But maybe you need to manifest, have hope in the person and actually manifest something better for yourself or them to be better rather than, yeah, rather than just going, well, I'm going to manifest and manifest, you know, they're just going to stop up again. Yeah, you feel trapped, stuck. Something like that. Some of you, you need to have hope. You need to forgive. You need, I feel like you just need to move on. You need to leave this past in the past or move on from this person. Um, 
me just get an outcome. get it with my nail okay so tell me give me an outcome for Aquarius and the person. You have three of keys in reverse. Justice again. So somebody, all right, um, I feel like somebody's not learning from failure or not making any progress, but I mean, the justice card is upright, which is about karma, right? So they're not being dishonest. They're not taking accountability. It's like the truth will come out, fairness, you know, getting justice, that kind of thing. Now, sorry, I'm hungry. Ace of hearts in reverse. You see someone as um, selfish. You're kind of hesitant as well. Um, you feel like there's going to be an end. Like, as I said, but you're manifesting that. You've got to be so careful. You're manifesting an end, but with the world, it's like you're not completing the lesson. Like this has happened, you need to let it go. Yeah, someone indulged in something. So you withdrew. So yes, this could have been somebody was just irresponsible or bored, stuck, had a short attention span, felt like they had no discipline when it came to something, some sort of addiction. Um, I think you just need to, the message for you is you need to stop manifesting failure because it's like you're manifesting. You, you think, oh, I know they're going to stop up again. So you're manifesting it instead of a happy, happy life. Anyway, that is what I have. Um, I mean, you can change that and um, I hope this reading resonates and I'll catch you next time. Okay, bye.